Wouzier and Jordan Lewis in particular, they've had a tough time holding up in man coverage. And so the Seattle Seahawks, the most dangerous part of their passing game is when Russell escapes the pocket. And when you have a big guy like DK Metcalf, who's a big vertical stretch player, it is really problematic for those guys to stay with him. We saw the work that he gave Stephon Gilmore, who's the reigning defensive player of the year. And so when you think about the dilemma that Mike Nolan has, they haven't been able to generate a pass rush with four, so they can't really play zone because then quarterbacks have too much time. When you do dial it up and go man-to-man -man with pressure, the guys on the outside haven't been able to hold up. So really, I don't know how Mike Nolan is going to be able to do it unless he gets better performance from Alden Smith, Everson Griffin, and Demarcus Lawrence. If anybody has to wear the big sombrero this week, it's the defensive line. They got to challenge the defensive line to get home with four because you can't expose the cornerbacks down after down to man-to-man -to -man coverage. That's a perfect segue, Bucky, because, I mean, obviously, yeah, the, the pass rush needs to be better. Anybody that's watched the Cowboys knows that. And you would like to think it's a favorable matchup against Seattle's offensive line, but... The problem that you already alluded to is Russell Wilson. I mean, you can do everything right, and he still makes you look silly. So what is the best strategy for getting after him without creating six or seven broken plays that turn into chunk gains? Well, I think the main thing is you still got to come after him. You can't just let him sit back and have all day because that is a recipe for disaster because he is too good in terms of his accuracy and efficiency to just pick your part with surgical precision. So you have to pick and choose those moments.